Hello and welcome back to the Madrid Urban Sports Virtual Edition in a brand new online format. I'm your host, Matilda Lorme, and we are joined by the magnificent Clayton Kindley, all the way from Arizona. Hello, Clayton. Nice to see you. Magnificent? Thank you. It means so much. <laughs> the one and only. How are you? What have you been up to? I'm fantastic. You know, I've uh, been riding a lot and uh, just got my pump on at the gym, and now we're announcing a contest. I'm excited. We are here for the quarterfinals of the men's scooter in a very unusual format this year. We, I'm sure we haven't seen this before. What do you think of this uh, new online edition of Madrid Urban? Honestly, it's new, but exciting. Um, I kind of wish I was there, you know, for Extreme Barcelona and for this in person, but sadly, we uh, that's not happening. Um, but I am, I am really excited because this is so different and I want to see all my friends throw down and it's gonna be sick. We're pumped. Let's see this bracket for the men's scooter competition. So we have eight riders today and four spots for the semifinals. First up, it's a head-to-head. -head. So you've got August Pelo, the Frenchman, and Luis Barrios. What a matchup. Honestly, between these two, this is going to be a really, really hard contest, mainly because both of them are such hardcore street riders and they're both really creative and they like going big. And it's just going to be all in all a uh, good battle between the two. Next up, we have Nick Tendrick and Dylan Morrison. Gosh. See, and, and again, here we go. We got Nick <laughs> Tendrick, the master of big rails. You guys have seen him at Feast. He uh, is, he's always done the uh, big rail jam and always wins it with some crazy trick down this huge 25 stair handrail. It's 25. And then Dylan Morrison goes big. He can flare higher than everyone. He can jump gaps bigger than everyone. So honestly, between these two, I'm really excited to see their videos. Third contest, we have Reese Dozma and Kai Saunders. Another interesting matchup. I think these two are going to be a really good matchup because Kai is very technical and so is Reese. Uh, they're both very creative riders and like to go and do things differently than anyone else. And Reese has a background in skiing, so he kind of has uh, this like cool organic style to him. And then Kai is just, if you've ever seen his Instagram videos or his edits in general, it is absolutely insane. He's probably one of the best at 50 50s. He can do uh, predators really well, which is a front 50 to back 50 or vice versa. And oh gosh, I'm excited for that too. Young Australian rider, his videos go absolutely viral. Go check him out. And the fourth contest, the last spot to grab in this quarterfinal, Carlos Ravelo, local guy from Spain, and Juzi Cara, another Aussie. See, and fourth time, I will say. Uh, <laughs> Carlos rides for Tilt, Juzi riding for Mad Gear. They're both, actually, if, you, if you've ever seen Juzi's videos, he's uh, he's actually one of the only screw riders to ever be posted on ESPN, um, like on their Instagram page, for this huge circle rail that he did for the ending uh, clip for one of his video parts. So Jesse is notorious for doing just insane grinds, grinds that no one else is doing, almost at like a rollerblade level. Um, and then Carlos, and also another insane rider, and I'm really excited to see what they can both do and who's going to win. Super young, and Jesse's probably got arguably the, the best hair in the game. <laughs> <laughs> and, hey, and also he's a model in Spain, so... There you go. This is his home yeah. ground. Big contender exactly. for the win. Next up, exactly. let's have a look at the format of this competition. It is the first edition of Madrid Urban and a very new one, if I should say. There are eight riders, ri sorry, eight riders. They're going to battle it out in a head-to-head -head contest. We saw, the four con we, four, we saw the four contests just before. Each rider must do a best trick in a selected spot. It's quarterfinal time, so it's a gap today. 
Tomorrow for semi-finals, it'll be a balanced trick. The big final and the loser final will be real. So we have five judges with us today that we'll introduce in just a minute that'll be he here to help us make the decision on who will progress to the semi-final. So let's have a look at the bracket one more time. All right, there it is. Pelo Barrios, Tedrick Morrison, Ravelo, Carter, Dosma, and Saunders. We've got eight athletes, only four spots. Should we get into it? I think we should. I'm excited. Let's do it. First contest. Here we go. Pelo and Barrios. Let's see it. by August. What oh did you think, gosh. Clayton? Okay, wait, hold on. Hold on. I, I need to watch this a couple more times. Okay, dude, what? Okay, <laughs> so August does a sh huge gap over a rail into a bank. The bank is destroyed as well. As you can tell, there's like pieces of brick sticking up. So like, that's just asking for death. But oh, I think one, you know, chipped, August one survived. chipped off there as well. Oh my gosh. Yeah, see, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. And then... The triple heel down, I'm not sure. I think that's a like a six block. I think, hold on, let's let it get to it. Let's see, let's God, that's it. so big. Uh, yeah, it, yeah, it's like a, uh, I think that's an eight block actually. And no one does triple heels. And if you don't know what a, uh, how difficult that is, it's actually four rotations in the opposite direction that you normally do. So normally when people do a triple tail whip, that's their natural and the way that they all, that they've always tail whip. But it going in the opposite direction is just way harder. And when you're going down a gap, it's it just makes it that much more insane. Right, one is so technical. August just does a huge gap. Let's introduce the judges and see what they think. We have five very exciting judges with us today. Here they are. Clayton, what can you tell us about these five judges before they give their first decision on the first contest? So, first of all, we have Andrew Broussard, um, Danny Roberts, we have El Murray, Max, like these riders are the top tier riders. They've been around forever. They, I feel like they're probably the least biased amount of like, they're the least biased of all judges that we could have had. And uh, they all ride differently as well. And they're all very creative. So I think having them as judges is just perfect. Right, such a versatile mix of the five. Uh, like we said, it won't be a traditional uh, judging count. They won't give scores. They'll simply pick one trick or the other. So let's have a look and see what the judges think of the first contest between August and Luis. Here we go. Let's see it. Oh, surprising. Wow. All right. I mean, I totally, I totally agree because that gap that he did was absolutely insane. And it is such a high risk factor because, you know, if you clip your front or your back wheel on that railing, what's, you're going to be feeling it the next morning, that's for sure. Unanimous decision across the board for August Pillow. He will head into the semifinals. Luis Barrios is out. Let's see the next contest. We have Tedrick and Morrison. Let's see it. Nick from the US and Dylan all the way from Australia. That's what's so great about this online edition is that we can we can basically travel at the same yeah, competition. Right? <laughs> what do you think? Uh, honestly, this is a hard one uh, because they're both hopping over a railing onto something. Right. But personally, I think Dylan might take it because he's jumping onto such a small platform and he's landing backwards into fakie. And that's just a lot more technical. Um, 
Nick's is really great, but I think Dylan definitely took this one. And there's the risk of water there, right? Correct. Yeah. Surely that's also, added points. Also, also, Nick has the uh, likelihood of getting caught up in that fence, and that wouldn't be too fun because it's like the spiky type of fence. It's not like the triangle. It's like, you know, if you, you don't want to get caught get up in that fence. stuck on that, you're, you're definitely like Right. Yeah, <laughs> Great exactly. job on Nick for landing that one. Let's see what the judges yeah. think. <laughs> Here we go, Tedrick and Morrison. Ooh. Oh, wow. Dang, all right. I'm surprised by that. I'm sorry, Nick, okay? <laughs> Don't be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I I totally agree. These guys know better than me. I'm a, uh, you know, I will say, Nick, great job, bro. I'm sorry for doubting you. That's my bad. You can... You can hit me if you want next time I see you, bud. The American <laughs> street killer. He is joining August in the semifinals. We have two spots left, nice. eight riders. Let's see this next one. Kai Saunders, the Australian, also a big YouTuber, against Dozma. Yes. What do you think of those two huge gaps? Uh, this one's hard. Honestly, um, Kai is jumping over a rail down, I think it's an 18 or 20 stair. Um, but Reese is half cabbing over like a curb down a huge, um, I guess like a, it looked kind of like a parking lot or something. And Wow. I feel like Reese has to be a lot more precise, um, but also Kai had to be very precise as well because there's only so much room for error. But uh, this one's hard. Honestly, I think this is up to the judges because uh, <laughs> both these tricks are insane. <laughs> Let's see what the judges have to say. All right, Dozma and Saunders. Ooh. Oh, that was close. Ooh, alternating. Dozma, Saunders, Saunders, Dozma, Saunders. It's gonna be Kai for this one. Wow. Young Aussie combo street killer. Are we surprised? <laughs> uh, <laughs> honestly, not really. This was uh, one that I honestly wasn't too sure of, but I do agree with the judges because they know best. All right. The Aussie's gone to the semifinals. Congratulations, Kai. We have the last contest, Ravelo the Spaniard and another Aussie, Juzi Carter, I believe from Melbourne. We're gonna get to travel again for this one's last contest. One more spot up for grabs at the Madrid Urban Sports Festival. Let's see it, virtual edition. Wow, I mean, Ravelo, the newcomer on the scene, already making huge grounds in the scooter scene, and Juzi, the long-haired beauty, an incredible gap. What do you think? My, I will say after this whole thing, my brain hurts. Um, but between these two, I have no idea, okay? We have a huge wall ride, which is insanely dangerous and very technical as well. Um, and then we have Juzi inwarding over these poles, which is also extremely dangerous. And I don't know, I I have no idea. Both these guys are insane. This has been a very, yeah, honestly, I think we're just gonna have to take it to the judges. It's beautiful. Let's see what the judges have to say. We have one spot left for the semifinals. Let's see it. Ravelo and Carter. Oh, Ravelo just by one, by one. I, honestly, I think I do agree with that very much. All right. Ravelo and Carter. Ravelo secures our final spot for these semifinals. Congratulations to our finalists. Let's see the bracket. All right. 
there you uh, go. August first, Nick, and yeah. then Kai versus Car- uh, first Carlos. Uh, yeah, that's in. Okay, honestly, that's going to be a crazy matchup. And that's coming up tomorrow. I'm excited. That's coming up tomorrow on Urban World Series. Don't forget to check out Instagram stories and make your predictions. These are our four semifinalists. Who do you think is going to win between the two? Make your predictions there on Instagram stories. And don't forget to hashtag Madrid Urban Sports Virtual Edition. You can make your predictions there. It's going to be exciting. All right, we have one more thing. Clayton, before you leave, the judges have graced us with an MVP of this quarterfinals scooter tournament. Before we see it, in your opinion, who deserved MVP today? That's a good question. Uh, I think, honestly, I think Reese took it. That like that half cab was insane. I think, I think Reese definitely has the best trick out of all these, um, just because of the difficulty of that trick. I mean, so they call him the king of the street. Could it be him? It could. I don't know. And then if it's not Reese, I think it's Carlos. All right, young gun Carlos Revela. Let's see what the judges have to think. Our MVP of today's quarterfinals men's scooter first edition Madrid Urban Sports Festival is. Ooh! Oh, Auguste Pelo. Good stuff, August. <laughs> I mean, that gap see, was huge. I, I, oh, it was. I felt bad because all the things that I've said haven't come to fruition. So, uh, my apology, boys. But. Honestly, August deserves it. Here it is. That trick was insane. Yeah, I want to see this again. Gosh. So effortless. Yeah, it, it's huge. It, yeah. It, I feel like the thing about action sports that kind of sucks is people see a trick like that and they just assume that it's super easy, but it's not. Like if someone saw that, they'd be like, oh, I could do that. Like I could ride a scooter, but no, you can't. What is, what is <laughs> you it, what, can't do that. What does it take really to jump that big of a gap? Uh, a big pair. <laughs> All right, let's see what August actually has to say. We have him on the line. August chose a huge gap, massive difficulty. We want to hear from him why he decided to choose that. And first of all, congrats, August, on your MVP. Let's hear from August. Hi, I'm August Pelo. And if I chose this gap, it's because I didn't have a lot of time. And I already do it like two years ago. And the camera lost the clip. I do it again one year ago on the camera will lose the clip again. So I was like, for sure I get it. So we get back to the spot. Um, yeah, this time I get first try. Um, finally, the camera don't lose the clip. Bye, to the quarter final. Nice, nice message from August, what right? Is, <laughs> what's the chance of losing your clip twice? I think I think August needs a new filmer. That's for sure. What What does he mean that the cameraman lost the clip? So so sometimes uh, so there's I don't know it could mean a whole array of things. But uh, it, yeah, it can be a whole array of things. But sometimes someone has the footage and they forget to put it on their computer and then they delete all the footage from their camera and then it's gone. And it does happen, but it happening twice. Like, on the same on, gap. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But at least he had it down at some point, and I think that's why it looks so stylish, is because he had done it so many different times. So I think that did help the clip look more effortless instead of making it look like he'd done it only one time. You know, he's done it multiple times for multiple years. So I think it just made the clip that much better. That's August Pelo. He's a Frenchman currently living in Barcelona, an urban epicenter for scooter uh, riders. I think he's there with a couple of, this, of his French teammates. Um, I'm just really glad he got that clip. He definitely deserves MVP. And uh, congratulations to August for, uh, for winning that. And we'll see him in the semifinals there tomorrow. Check it out on Instagram. It's Urban World Series. Make your predictions on Instagram stories. And that is it for our quarterfinals of the men's scooter. Clayton, thank you so much for being with us today. And uh, don't miss- well, don't Thanks miss, for having me. Don't miss the semifinals. And we're, we're sure to see you at the finals. Sounds good. Ciao, guys. Nah, 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 she's
Couscous.